Will Haygood has written books about some of the most fascinating people of the 20th century. In The Haygoods of Columbus, Will Haygood wrote about how growing up in Columbus was a part of his story. Just like Haygood, you can use the Columbus Metropolitan Library African American Digital Collection to explore many stories. James Poindexter was one of the earliest leaders in the African American community. He was an abolitionist, a politician, and led one of the first black congregations in Columbus. He was influential with the city as far as being on, on the school board and the city council, and he met many of the people at the state house, and so he was aware of what was going on in the city. Columbus was important to many African Americans in the 1800s. It was part of the Underground Railroad. Are you ready to go? The Underground Railroad was a very clandestine, it was a very secretive and highly illegal operation. So those who were involved with it really took their lives in their own hands. Use the African American Digital Collection to study how the Great Migration affected Columbus when thousands of blacks left the poverty and oppression of the South for opportunities in the industrialized North. The railroads were located just north of the city. The railroads, no doubt, gave opportunities to thousands of black laborers. These African Americans lived in a segregated Columbus. Many of them were concentrated in communities of their own making. There was an old Hanford village um, that was there probably in the late 1800s and early 1900s, and it had its own police force, uh, fire chief, uh, stores. I mean, it was just a contained little community. It was destroyed in the early 70s when I-70 came through. Of all the African-American communities in Columbus, the largest and most prosperous was located on Long Street and Mount Vernon Avenue. Saturday was the East Market. Saturday was the bowling alley on Mount Vernon Avenue. Saturday was a novelty food bar. The black community had its own businesses, its own establishments where we could go shop and buy things. We had those things, number one, because we weren't allowed to go downtown for many years. The library's collection shows that the African-American experience in Columbus is compelling, complex, and is constantly evolving. It's extremely important for our public library to be a depository of information, images, photographs of the African-American community in Columbus because there's so much rich history that we don't want lost. And the collection will become even more robust as you and others contribute your photographs and documents and help chronicle African American life in Columbus. I just wanted to remind people that there were communities that have been demolished, but the traditions and the culture remain. They're not going anywhere. You may Take away the buildings, you may take away the street signs, but that culture and tradition and life and way of life will always be.